Horton's Kids has been providing services and supports for families in the Wellington Park and Stanton Oaks communities for over 30 years. That's a differentiator for Horton's Kids, the fact that we are play-based. We are here in the community and have been for over three decades. I've participated in Horton's Kids for about 13 years. Horton's Kids, in my opinion, is kind of like a backbone for the community. We really believe that it's a comprehensive, holistic approach that supports the entire family and thus the entire community and leads to transformational impact. And I think we are going to take that lesson as we contemplate the possibility of expanding further in this specific geographic area. We make a long-term commitment to every child that comes into the program and to their families. And so we do that through four reinforcing strands of service, academics, youth development, health and wellness, and family and community engagement. In the past three decades, 4,200 volunteers have provided over 400,000 hours of service to support more than 1,700 children. We have served nearly 200,000 meals, distributed more than 15,000 books, hosted more than 2,000 nights of tutoring, and taken children on more than 1,200 field trips. We've had sports. We've taken them to museums. And some of our kids go to Wyoming for camp. And that is special because they're exposed to things outside of the community, outside the DC landscape. It was very important for me and a lot of different kids because some of our parents weren't educated. So when I would come to home kids and my mentor, my tutor would help me, I'm getting a lot of them right and my teachers noticing that. So that made me feel like happy inside. With these wraparound supports and resources, participants in Horton's Kids are twice as likely to graduate from high school. In 2020, we were able to open our second site in Stanton Oaks. Um, and our Stanton Oaks community is less than half a mile from our Wellington Park Community Center. And what it does, it allows the adjacent community, it gives them the opportunity to get the same resources that Wellington Park has had for over 30 years. We've had our first attempt at learning how expansion looks and how to be really responsive. When we ask about what can we do better? You know, how can we have, be a better service? How can we do this stronger as partners? Often what we're heard is we want more of you. Horton's Kids is raising funds for Horton's Hub, which will provide 19,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space and extend services to as many as 16 additional housing communities in Southeast DC. Most communities don't have a place, a resource center that they could go to for help with resumes or mental health services or any services that they might need. First of all, it is massive, which is nice. And I think it will provide such a wonderful opportunity for Horton's Kids to serve more children in the community. And so really the strategy in opening Horton's Hub is to be the conduit to bring all of these other programs or services that have come, you know, east of the river and make sure, one, that they're high quality, that they're consistent, and that they are accessible. With the expansion of Horton's Hub, we will be able to provide a space for dozens of high quality partners to reach the citizens of Ward 8. Whether it's, you know, a, a lab room or, uh, you know, other learning areas within the building. It's really a multi-purpose facility. We want to make sure that we are bringing the best programs, the best opportunities, the best uh, supports to our community. And I think what this campaign will do, it will absolutely solidify the hub as a beacon within the community. But more importantly, we will build a base for Hortons to continue doing good to make sure there's continuity in the community and to really secure its future. We know that families and communities do not want to be displaced. They want to be able to be in their city, to be in their neighborhoods, to thrive. And I think this really is investing and bringing an asset 
to the neighborhood that is permanent and large enough to be responsive to those big dreams. And I think every child deserves that opportunity to live their best and brightest life, uh, irrespective of their circumstances. Change lives and give hope yes, and love. Absolutely. We lead with love. Absolutely. <laughs>